that laptop's remained powered for a long time. I have to wonder if it's like the, um, since there's so much electricity in the air, if it's somehow, let's turn off our flashlight, if it's, uh, kissy gloss. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can even click. Let's get some more static. One of these days there's going to be a voice or something in it. I lost my train of thought there. The kissy gl gloss distracted me. Can I hop down on top of that? I have to wonder if Ross is still inside. I mean, I'm betting you... Because look at that thing. It's like the only thing in the whole place that isn't overgrown. I wonder if it's just solid inside and we just can't see it. In the same way we saw our hands as human in the beginning. Huh. <laughs> uh, just the idea of that door even budging. I quite like this place, by the way. It's been so safe so far. It's very nice. Nothing in here. Not a single piece of paper to read. No small machine. That's not a battery. That almost looked like a battery. It's so pretty cool. It's got a lock on that. Ah, let's not make a mess. We already messed up the mess hall. You can almost make the argument that that's acceptable because it's a mess hall. Hey, more components like we found at the bottom of the sea in that one area. That was so silly. Great, more head pops. Uh-oh. Well, something just happened. We had a loading screen moment. Oh, I say loading screen moment. The game froze for a second and there was a little loading. Oh! This might be the breathing we were hearing. <laughs> so this person's head... ...popped as well, I'd say. But this thing grew into them. Hey, you got a little day. <laughs> Uh, it's like it's almost tempting to twirl it like hair or something. Like, I think that's him. I'm hearing breathing, so we got nothing to fear. It's it's so odd. It's like mismatched way of trying to put them back together. And where do the parts come from? Did they get them somewhere else and bring them here? Does this look like he's going to be able to stand up? Oh well, he's most definitely going to stand up, isn't he? Uh, yeah, it looks like it comes out and put us in. I suspect we might be having to avoid this character or something in a few minutes here. Also sounds like there's someone else in here. Yep. Shit. Their head most definitely looks separate. I wonder if they have a neuro chip or whatever it's called. A cortex chip. Okay, so all the defribbity-dibbities have been removed. I'm assuming that's what these were. Uh, high performance power pack. Oh, well, this is what we need the energy pal things. I think that might be what it's in the guy's head? Nah, nah I don't think so. I've worn rechargeable lithium ion surplus packs. Great. So we'll run on batteries that can run out as opposed to just super magic batteries. Great. Uh, standard S3 connection. Hat mat. Suit. Yeah, oh, so they're actually for the suit? Okay. Telephone machine tools, XO rigs, and power suits. When. Depleted to recharge the pack and blah, 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 blah. So ideally we want two of them, so when one goes kaput so we can get another one. Great. God! Shit. Well, you know what's getting to me now. Can I hide under here, please? So someone's mind is definitely in that one. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't turn on light. What are you talking about? Yikes. She is not happy. She is not happy one bit. Because, I mean, I guess her brain popped, but they must have had a scan of her. Then again, it's silly to uh, assume that it's put the same mind into the same body. Because, of course, I'm in some woman's body. Oh. Miss! Give me your hand! Miss! Give me your hand! Miss! Oh god, she knocked me out. Also, I noticed one of her hands was a massive claw thing. So, awesome. Huh. Wait, what? Why, thank you. This is where she was. 
Yeah, this is where she was, actually. She was standing right here. So she just knocked me out and moved. Of course, if she hits me again, it'll kill me at this point. And it'll set me back somewhere. So I have to figure out how to get past her now to get back to where we were early. So why are we getting... Why are we experiencing these electrical pulses now? Is she functioning as a conduit for them? Is that what's happening here? Oh, there she is. She's right fucking there. Damn it. Well, how do I get past her now? Is she drawn to sound or something? So I have to throw something? Or do I just walk past her? There's just a wrench over here. I mean, it doesn't seem like she'd be drawn to sound. And that didn't make any. Let's just very... Okay, she's saying stay away, so let's just try to keep our distance the best we can. Not my fault! Miss, it's not my... Oh, you... Oh my god, she runs! Totally not my fault! Totally not my fault, miss! Uh, I think she touched me! I think she touched me! Stop it! We can be friends! Jimmy, help! Jim, help! Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, skip it and jump! I pushed the wrong door button! Oh, well, that's the first time in this game my heart's actually gotten going. Gotten going faster than normal. Ugh, little stretches. It's stretchy, stretch, stretch. Let's get a drink. I guess I should have timed that better with her pulses so I didn't knock that stuff over and piss her off. Um, woo! <laughs> Does anyone want to remember where I saw the healing sphincters? Was it in that room that I saw a healing sphincter? I can't remember. We'll head downstairs. I'm sure we'll find one down there. Oh, boy, that was terrifying. <laughs> At one point where I closed the wrong door. It's like, I ran through the door and I see a button I push. It's like, wait, that's just the door to my side. Oh, shit. I doubt I could have reactivated the lockdown on that area. No! Don't be after me. Please be friendly. There's a healing sphincter down here somewhere. Why does Ross want me to kill it? I mean, clearly, I guess, Ross didn't intend for it to keep doing what it's doing. And it did kill all the people down there somehow, or whatever it created did. <sighs> That's a stairwell, right? Yeah. Hey, Ross, you want to explain some stuff to me? No? That's cool. This gra glass is cracked. I did never notice that before. Hmm. Was it cracked before? Okay, let's go ahead... Get our healing sphincter and get ourselves whoop, uh, all fixed up. Why do you use the whole fist? Uh. Jesus. Hey, all better. No. Please, just this room. Please, just this room. Okay, good. Thank God. And if the whole place shut down, I would have been a bit annoyed. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and head downstairs and try to unlock that sector now. Because I don't think... What, what, what did we get? We got a power supply. We got the goop. Um, I guess maybe we need to charge the power supply, or it might be able to be charged while it's in the suit, while the suit's still in the docking hangar. All we need now is the virus. I was thinking maybe every time you looked at Spurge, I was going to try to Spurge 20 times in 2 seconds. Oh god, let's hope this other person isn't down here. Ah, we still need a Cortex chip as well. But, in theory, we should be able to... If only we could find someone friendly, we could pull the Cortex chip out of my character's head and stick it into the suit. But I guess we're not going to have any luck with that. Yay, we can do this down here. Override. Oh, incorrect floor, yeah. Yay. So now maybe we'll get the Cortex chip. Because they said South Hall... What did they say was in here? 
Um, blah, blah, blah. yeah, workshop and comms. So there's a chance of a Cortex chip down here. Hey, T Tim? Is that you, Tim? That's not Tim. This is someone else. Yeah, you, you can get the feeling like these were the first people that tried to convert, or like it, you know, it murdered the people down at Tau. And then from the, and probably tried to rebuild them. Like that was its experimentation platform. Then it got to these guys and trying to free Ross. It ended up, you know, harming everybody. But it looks like it tried to put them back together. And this dude does not have a popped head. This is the first guy we found that doesn't have a popped head. Uh, I actually didn't get a good look at the chick downstairs or upstairs head. Yeah, uh, I'd say she popped. Man, look how it put him back together. It's like so mechanical. Whereas where at all the other stations at higher altitudes and stuff, they were all, um, we're not gonna use that. They were all more almost organic or some machinery. Like, um, Theta, it was all red and black. And then it, it's almost like we're going backwards in time and seeing the progression of whatever happened in the reverse. That's like current theory, at least. It's pretty cool, though. Like, eventually it's just the black goo, and it's getting into machines and people and ma making its own people. Okay, so let's go. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. So is that her going down the Alpha? Okay, then. Stay safe. Huh. And then it's almost a year later all of a sudden. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Trouble, trouble, trouble. It's also interesting that Ross's body was found and they don't mention any suit because you think the pressure would have just torn in the fleshy bits up too. I say torn, like squished it. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Wow. So both the ones down there weren't even hmm, weren't even functional after uh, they went down there and saw the terrible situation that people were dying. They evacuated. Ross somehow survived, and they basically said, "Okay, it's all bad down there. There's monsters tearing people up, so nobody even bothered repairing the relays. So it guaranteed they were going to lose connection with." whatever was there. And so when the ARC team shows up, oddly, oh no, the ARC team, I got, oh my god, I've been a fool. I've been been getting confused. The ARC team went down there without issue. I'm thinking of the guys who evacuated from Theta that were the ones that were locked out. Right. We haven't found anything on them here yet. Yeah, the ARC team went down without a hitch before all this went wrong. Right, okay. I got my timeline messed up and people mixed. The goop of life, of future robo alien life. That looks like a giant sphincter eye. Uh, Alpha needs medicine. Are you telling it, need, need, it needs humans? And it almost looks like that thing. Um, into the abyss. Can I left click to get this into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. So take this to Alpha and this. It needs its medicine. Does this mean something? I'm not writing that down. Uh, so there's Alpha. It's like a temple. Don't tell me it's like ancient aliens. I almost thought that said Alpha 2. How far away is that from... That's like right between uh, Fee and Tau, isn't it? Yeah. 
more and more of it. That sort of looks like it. Yeah, that sort of looks like this, doesn't it? So, is Elf a some sort of alien entity and they just passed it off as an AI because they figured it could heal stuff? Uh, find Tau and forward Alpha, take PHE to Alpha. Wait. It's definitely not Fee. It's something Cell, maybe, to Alpha? So damn hard to read your scribbly marks. The heart of Alpha. So there we go. We know that's the heart of Alpha for sure now. We don't know what the things are. Was this person getting these in their dreams? That person did mention they were having dreams of stuff before they left. <laughs> and they left and everyone's heads popped. Yay! Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, what a nightmare of an existence, I guess. He's barely even tied into the wall systems, too. Okay, what else do we got down here? This was our stairwell, right? Yeah, at least we the stairwell. A uh, robot repair bay! Cortex chip! Hello? These drones are super simple, right? Uh, oh, Cortex chip diagnostics. We need to make get sure there's one that's got nothing in it. So we gotta use that game to eject this, I guess. I'm just looking around before we do so. And it's tied into the wall, so we are able to uplink with it. And it is tied down to the table. Brilliant. I, yeah, these these ones are the ones that can only be controlled, right, with the human interactions. They're not, like, they're barely able to do anything without a human, right? Ah, scary sound. Ah, kind of school periscope. Kind of school, kind of cool periscoping stuff for some of this. Ow. I was able to move the paper. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this. You know, honestly, I'd like to turn this around. That way I could be looking at the machine, not just have it sitting behind me. So we need to eject the chip. How does this game work? Okay, is this a laser game? Well, that... Well, that answers that. The Cortex chip is definitely active. Hello? This thing might not even have microphones. So we've turned on comms, we've turned on its motors, now we're going to turn on its optics so it can see. Well, it's got someone's mind. Arrgh! The logical thing would just be to use our friend Catherine's Cortex chip. And he's now we're gonna have some other guy's brain inside our suit. Right. He's gonna probably start crying now, isn't he? What the frack is this? That doesn't look like a Cortex chip. You got his whole fracking head! Oh, it's his whole eye assembly like we have in our head. So what, we're going to stick that in there and then we're going to copy our mind onto his Cortex chip. I still think it would be much safer just to remove the Cortex chip instead of overriding people. Brilliant. Okay, well, we got our Cortex chip. And we had to, you know, uh, pull someone's brain out. Well, at least he wasn't talking, he was just sort of screaming and sputtling. I hope he wasn't online, like, all this time sitting down here unable to see and talk. And that would be real scary. Alright, that's upstairs to not fun times. Uh, we gotta go this way to get to our- God! Hey! Ross! Whoa! Whoa! Ross, man! Oh, you're coming down with us. Okay. Is the virus in you, then? Are you the virus? Okay, Ross, yo, from now on, a little bit of, like, talking, you know, talking. And he's already been down there in the depths. Yeah, fuck. Is this our, our buddy that we were talking to for so long? Well, it looks about like the chick again, actually.
Sorry you're having such trouble, miss, but frack! Yaza, yaza, shaza. Hey, Catherine? Uh oh, that door didn't work. Can you close this door behind me and please- ah! No! Mommy, no! Very mean robot. Nice. Piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Uh, Let's get to work. Yeah. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. <laughs> so sure of things sometimes. Oh yeah, we gotta plug the power supply in, right? And hopefully we'll recharge. Uh, power supply, that thing, black goop. Do I just pour it on here? Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure jam connecting all the parts. We should have probably closed it up first and then put the structure jam on. I guess so you have to close up the whole thing before doing that. Well, why are we gonna activate the suit? That other thing's brain is in there! We need to clean that chip. We have to kill somebody first. For God's sakes. Um, HPS tracking, no. Yep, suit. Uh, control, no. Back button. I'm used to right clicking to go back and Yeah, brilliant. Wonderful. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. <laughs> this is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. Alright. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. <sighs> the funny thing is, though, that right now it's got that chip in there as a brain to control the body. But why did the suit turn on? The suit shouldn't have turned, like, be functioning because that Cortex chip, the suit was saying it needs a Cortex chip to be the controller of the suit. We didn't plug that chip into the suit, we plugged it into the body. I guess maybe it interfaced, oh, of course, the, the black goop interfaced with the suit. So now it's thinking it's all interfaced. Do I have to close this so it's scan properly? Probably not. Okay, let's power this up. Can you close this door just in case Miss Grumpy Pants gets in here? Okay, maybe we don't have to do that. Oh, we have to do this. Okay. What? No, we definitely have to plug this in. Are you kidding me? Look, there's no other wire going to it. Well, there's a little dinky wire. You're saying my brain's going through the dinky wire. We Fine. Loop back the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You've lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. <laughs> okay. So which one's mine? So what's, what's this doing? Is this making it longer or shorter? Okay. There, that's about the exact... Well, no. Frequency... Okay, what's, well, I, okay this is bunching them up. Cool. So we want to get them... The same... So that one's going up to that height. Okay, so this isn't changing height. This is just length. Let's get height first, because that's easiest. So altitude... I think that's about the same height, yeah? Uh, I think one more. There we go, that's just right. Okay, now we need to lengthen them out. Oh, we got it. That's everything. <laughs> you can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. Also, a new body should be stronger, but just... You're crazy because that Cortex chip you should have wiped Go first. Go the pilot seat. I'm making so many damn... Ugh, whatever. You know, Three. Indians thought photos would steal their souls. Actually, it'd be more of copy your souls. Because currently, if this is just a copy, there should be two of me now. Yeah, that worked. I'm expecting to hear another me from behind go, did that work? Yep. What was that? No, I it just... Why was it still talking? 
It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. Yes, there can. What happened? That you were going to take exactly my mind this. and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? No. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Uh, You're not freaking disgusting. out. Ah! Shut up, Simon. You knew this was going to happen. He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if? I'm not gonna kill him. Need to wake up. You do that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. There. <coughs> I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in anymore. I don't want to watch you kill him. Yip, yip, yip. No, I'm not going to kill him. Ah, the, the fucked up. This is this is the only fucked up thing. The copy we knew was going to happen. We knew the copy was going to happen. Well. You are trouble here, lady. Friend, we need to get another Cortex chip and make another body. That way, old Simon can still have a friend. And why is he going to sleep, huh? Did you knock him out? Is that what it was? Because that's the cruel part. The cruel part is Simon waking up alone. It wouldn't be cruel if Simon was just still awake. And we could have a conversation between the two Simons. Two grumpy Simons talking to her. And then convince her to copy herself. And she'll go, but I don't want to stay here forever alone with just you. Well, too bad. Maybe you shouldn't have. <laughs> maybe you should have thought of that. Or maybe we should just copy another Simon. That way there's at least two Simons talking and working on maintaining and rebuilding this place or something productive. No, I'm not killing Simon. Oh my god, this game is pissing me off on the fact that I can't, like, write a note on the wall. Like, in my blood goop on the wall. Like, Simon, mind was copied. Headed down to Trench. Try to make it to surface or follow us in new suit. Or there's no new suit, what am I saying? Ugh, this is so infuriating. We should have found another Omni tool, tried to find another Cortex chip, and copied her into that as well. That way, other Simon could know exactly what was going on. Simon should not have been surprised, though, that there was suddenly he was in another body and the other him was still there. It's so infuriating. He shouldn't be surprised at all at this situation. The only thing he should be surprised at is waking up and suddenly everything's gone. He should wake up, walk out, and be like... Oh, it did work like I expected, but they fucking left me. What a piece of shit couple. They should have fracking copied Catherine too, that way I wouldn't be alone, or made another copy of me. Look at all the bodies that were up there. Some of them were in suits. Maybe we should have only poured half the gel into the one suit, huh? Or maybe we should use some of the gel that's already in the walls and stuff. Sure, it's like, oh, it'll reanimate, kill something, and stop, but not if we can find another Cortex chip and shove in it in some way. Very annoying! Oh, I didn't take her. Pissing me off, Kevin. See? See? Or even once we get down there, we know one of the suits didn't make it all the way down there. So all we gotta do is get there, bring that suit up if it's still in one, in mostly intact, and then pull it. Literally, all we gotta do then is maybe drain his body of gel, break it up, and pull his, you know, little head thing like we got now off and stick it in there. And then he'd have himself a doopy de doop doop suit, and there'd be two Simons. His look, now we have extra pair of hands and another spare body. Or we could even pull his core out. Oh, and you know, the only way to keep him from waking up isn't just, you know draining his battery we could have pulled his cortex chip and then put Catherine's cortex chip in there so there'd be another body and then walked around the station so there'd be two of us walking about or even stayed here and just kept let simon past simon wake up and walked around we we'll probably have to go to that one because then past Simon and current Simon and super suit would have been able to maybe overpower grumpy robo woman and find another Thing to set up. Wow, that is. Uh, I get vertigo sometimes. <sighs> Jesus. Very, very grumpy with that. Very, very grumpy with Catherine and the game for not letting me 
look for another suit or you know like I said there should be another suit down at this platform so all we got to do is get there get the suit back up here and just find a way to get a his yeah it's super easy just pull off his head with that cortex chip and shove it in there ah. so folks I'm not using the ladder I'm just going through it oh this is the climber yeah they said it was like an elevator yeah plug you in bitch tits yeah Activate the climber, please. She's not even asking. <laughs> She's like, did you kill him? Did you kill him? Oh, I have to I have to actually activate it. I didn't mean to sit down with that. Am I stuck in this chair now? Have I I've been alt-tapped. I got alt-tapped. That was not fun. Okay, good. I can still move. Um Passengers five. Uh one. Why have I been alt-tapped again? Mmm, give me a kiss, baby.